jump in. Um, so for those of you who haven't done this um, with us before, so it says um, stretching and core for climbing, and that is true. This is this will only help climbing stuff. Um, but there are also we're going to do four exercises, um, and we do them four times each. So if you've done this before, some of you have been in here before, so you'll you'll remember, you'll know what I'm talking about. But we're going to do four different. Uh, different core exercises four times and that way um, we'll take a break in between each one and we're going to do a combination of planks of actually today side planks um, something called a b-up and something called a bird dog and something called a block pass and I will kind of go through them first time without doing you guys doing them so that you know what I'm talking about um, planks are pretty self-explanatory most people I think have seen them before but you're just on a nice flat surface um, elbows down, and you're just in a plank position, right? You're nice and level. You're not letting your butt drag down. You're not putting your butt up in the air. You're just nice and level. And then we're also going to do something called a side plank, where you just kind of roll your feet on top of each other like that. You stack them, and then just keep this line nice and straight so that you're not sagging down and hurting your back, and you're not bridging up and hurting your back that way. So we're going to do a combination. When we do planks, we'll start um, with a front plank, and then about certain amount of time through we'll go to a side plank and then we'll finish on a front plank and so i'm going to build up time with the planks we're going to start with 30 seconds and we'll go 30 seconds then 45 then a minute um and so that way you can kind of float wherever you want to in there with planks it's really easy to adapt if you feel like you're you're sagging or you're hurting your back you don't want to i don't want you to hurt your back or get any kind of tweaks in your back so you can use one of these these are just yoga blocks or if you're doing a front plank and you want to take weight off, all you have to do really easily is just drop one knee or I could just drop that knee. If it's really starting to stress you, just drop both knees and you'll feel a ton of weight come off. And that way you can just still hold the position and keep your core nice and tight. You want to be thinking about every time you're doing these exercises, everything is right here. So nice and tight right here. Shoulders just kind of keep them loose as you can like planks it does get a little bit stress stressful on the front of your shoulders but just let it relax it like kind of sag into your shoulders but keep your your core nice and flat and straight the second thing we're going to do is something called a v up and a v up is when you're on your back so this is where i use a weight you don't have to use a weight it's up to you but you're basically on your back and um when we start all these exercises start with your feet six inches off the ground so you don't want to start on the ground because that causes you to kind of load too hard. So what I do is I, I lift my feet up, my hands are over my head, and I'm just coming up to my shins and touching them, going back down, coming up, touching my shins, and I'm trying to make like a soft V, and I'm just doing that over and over, nice and controlled. If you have a weight, the weight is over your head, and you've still got that six inches, and you're just bringing the weight up and touching it, and then you're going back down. You don't have to stall. If you want to adapt it, as you're coming up, don't come all the way up. So just peel your shoulders off the ground and then go back down. So don't worry about bringing your feet to you. Just kind of be peeling up. And when you peel up, you want to come up nice and slow like that. So you're not snapping. So it's nice, easy lift. And if you're just clearing your shoulders, that's enough. Don't feel like you have to clear yourself way up into a sit-up. Because doing a whole sit-up is actually not super great for your lower back. So just kind of peel your shoulders up off the ground and then lay them back down nice and slow. And all of these movements, you shouldn't be doing them fast. It should be a nice, nice, comfortable pace for you. You'll hear me counting, but that doesn't mean you have to stay on my count. Just kind of get to where you need to go to get to the number that I tell you to go to. So we're going to do uh, planks. To do Planks are timed, but um, the ups and the other two are timed just numbers. So I'm just going to tell you to do 10. Um, the next one we're going to do after that is called a bird dog. Um, I learned that from someone else. I don't know if that's what they're really called. Um, a bird dog is like you're on your hands and knees and you stick one leg out this way and the opposite arm out this way. And you're just holding that pose right there. And then we're going to do on the second, second and fourth rotation through, we're going to tuck our arm in and touch our touch our elbow to our knee um, on the fifth. So we're gonna do five of those on each side. And then the last thing we'll do is um, called block passes. 
and block passes. If you don't have a block, that's okay too. You're gonna start the same as a V up. Hands are gonna be over your head. Feet are gonna be six inches off the ground. But the difference here is if you have a block, you're gonna pass yourself the block. So as I come up, I come up to my feet, ah, and I pinch it, and then I let go and I go back, and then I come up and I take the block and I go back down. If you don't have a block, just pull your feet into your chest. Big dip. Into your chest. So as you come up, just pull your feet in, touch your feet, go back down. If that's too much of a curl, same idea as with the, with the V-ups, just peeling up. But this time when you peel up, peel your feet up too. So don't, you don't have to bring them all the way up, but as you peel up, just bring your feet up a little bit and go back down. So you're gonna, gonna come into a little bit of a half crunch and stay there just for a second and then lay yourself down nice and slow again. So those are the four. Um, we'll do those probably actually in that order. Um, and like I said, planks are gonna be timed. V-ups are gonna be 10. Bird dogs are gonna be five on each side and block passes will be 10. And we're gonna do that four times. And I'm gonna time each rotation, although I lost my phone. So I'll do it in my head, it'll be okay. Um, anyone have any questions? Awesome. Also, Silence is feel free to write in the chat uh, to me. Oh, yeah. If you have any questions for Craig, I can uh, give them to him. So just write in the chat if you have any questions. He'll yell at me then. So we're going to start with a plank. So we're going to start with a front plank. So that's just going to be arms down. And when I start a plank, I just let my whole, my elbows are pushed up. Uh, but my, you'll see my hips are on the ground right now. I'm not pressing up yet. Um, and my toes are going to be straight down. So you're going to rock up onto those toes. And then you're just going to lift your hips off the ground. You're not going to like throw yourself up. It's just a nice, easy push up. And then you can go back down at any time. Remember, if you need to take weight off, just drop one knee first. If that's not enough, drop both knees. If that's not enough, then let your hips drop down and hit the, uh, engage the ground as well. And that way you're going to taking the weight off your lower spine. Um, so we're going to do 30 seconds. So in my, my brain, I'm going to count to 30. So I, I promise it'll be really close to 30 though. So we're going to count here and we're going to go up in three, two, one, push up into a plank. And I usually just stare at my hands because it makes me feel like I'm doing something at least not as bad as a plank. Now I'm counting those. That requires a lot of focus for me. That's about 15. And that's 30. So now just lay back down on the ground. Kind of let it loose. Um, sometimes if my back feels tight after a plank, I'll kind of just bridge backwards. It just kind of stretches it out nice. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna just flip yourself over and we're gonna do 10 V-ups. So V-ups are the ones where your feet are six inches and you're coming up to your shins back to the ground. We're gonna do 10 of those in a row. All right, so go 10. Again, I'm gonna do 10. You'll hear me counting. Do 10 as slow or as fast as you want, but don't go super, super fast. That just gets too herky-jerky. So I just kind of do a, like a nice, easy cadence that I can kind of keep track of. So we're gonna do 10 of those. So here we go. There's one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yay. You guys are killing it. Excellent. Okay, next one is going to be a bird dog. So that's where we're pointing with our hand and our feet. So for these first ones, we're going to do five on each side. It's opposite side. So if your left arm is up, your right leg is out. And the biggest thing to remember is really extend. So like donkey kick that foot way out and stretch that hand way out. You're kind of like 
pulling a line straight through you. So you don't want to be sagging. So nice and tight. Remember, it's all in here. So keep this nice and tight. So we're going to do this for five. So you're going to go up to one. That's going to be one. And then you're going to come back down and then back up. And we're going to do five in a row. So five on each side. So go at your own pace. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to switch sides. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Now we're going to sit down on our bum again and we're gonna do those block passes. So remember, if you don't have the block, you're just gonna come up and touch those feet and go back down. And we're gonna do 10 of these. So same thing, you go at your own pace, but we're going up to number 10. And then we're gonna take a two minute break. Okay, here we go, 10 of them. One, two, three, Four, five, drop my block, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. So we're going to take two minutes in between. I'm going to grab my phone so I can really time it. Don't run away. Drink water if you have it. All right. And time official now. Gonna go about 40 more seconds. And we're going to start with planks. But this time we're going to add in a side plank. So we're going to go 15 seconds on a side plank, 15 on a front plank, and 15 on the other side plank. So you're just going to be rotating through. You're like flipping yourself on a grill. All right. Here we go. We're going to start. You start whatever side you feel comfortable with. Um, I'm going to start on my right. But again, it's almost like you're laying here watching TV, right? And then you're just gonna pull up into the plank like that. Make sure you're keeping this nice and flat. If this is too much, if you have a block, sometimes I'll slide a block under people if they need a little bit of assistance that way. If not, you can use a book or you can sag down and let that leg hit, but still keep this cord nice and tight so, so you're not like kind of relaxed again, but just kind of like let, let it lay down a little bit, let your hip contact the ground. If not, though, we're just going to go 15 on that, and then we're going to, when you're out of that one, you're just going to drop into the front one like that, and then when we go to the last one, you're just going to roll up on the other side. So you're like a churro at the fair. All right, here we go. 15, 15, 15. So we're going to do 45 seconds total. All right, up you go. So coming up on 10. Okay, there's 15. So roll onto your front plank. There's 25. You can get ready to roll onto our other side now. Now on your other side. There's 40. Awesome. Good. 
Now we're going to go to our V-ups. So that's the one where you're coming up and touching your shins. So with a weight or without a weight. And we're going to do 10 of those again. Okie dokie. So remember, 10 at your own pace. You're not rushing. It's a nice, easy cadence to keep track of. All right, here we go. Feet six inches off the ground. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. We are going to go to bird dogs. So flipping around again. Um, so we did five. Okay, so this time when you do the five, as you're coming up, as you're stretched out in your bird dog like this, I want you to come back in. So when we go one, you're going to come in and just touch that knee or come as close as you can and then go down. That'll be one. So we're going to do that each time on each side. So that way we're going to switch it up each time. So start on whichever side you feel comfortable, but as we come off of the one, touch your knee, put your hand down. That's the only thing we're adding. Nothing else is different. Five on each side. So take your time, do whichever side you want first. Remember that nice straight line. Here we go. One, then tuck it in and touch it. Down. Two, touch it. Down. Three, under. Four, under. Five, under. Switching sides. One, two, three, four, five. And the last thing we're going to do are the block passes. Same idea, 10 of those. Remember, if you don't have a block or if it's hurting your back, you just peel on your shoulders up. If you have a block, pass it to your feet. If you don't have a block, touch your feet. That's it. All right, we're going to do 10 of those. All right, your pace. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Two minutes again. You guys are cruising. That's halfway. Piece of cake. And it's Friday, which is like every other day in the week now. So the only thing we're going to change now is planks. We're going to go a little bit longer on the side planks, um, but the same rule. So start on a side plank, go to a front plank, end on a side plank. And then we're going to also do the bird dogs this time, we're not going to touch our knee. So we're just going to go straight back to where we started that first time. So just five on each side, nice straight lines. Just about a minute. I always feel like we should have hold music now. That's about a minute and 10 ish. So we have about another 40 seconds. So I do this um, core thing about four times a week um, just because it helps with my, my lower back. Um, 
and it also helps with climbing. I'm not obviously climbing that much right now, but um, it does help with climbing quite a bit and it just helps my back feel better. So if you're having back issues, core is a great way to help strengthen your, your back. It doesn't make sense, um, but everything is, if this is strong, then everything else gets strong. Um, so it's a great way to keep your back a little bit happier. It, it works for me. I would hope, hopefully it would have worked for you guys. All right, we're gonna start with a side plank. So on this guy, we're gonna go for 15. The middle plank will be a bit longer. Um, so 15 on each side, 30 in the middle. Okay, ready? Up we go. So we're gonna do 15 on this side. All right, and roll onto your front plank. Gonna stay there for 30. There's 15. Remember, if you have to take weight off, just drop a knee or drop both knees, but keep that core tight the whole time. Okay, getting ready to flip over. Okay, flip onto your other side. Gonna go there for 10 more seconds. Five more seconds. Awesome. Beautiful. Set. Okay, now we're going to go to the V ups. We're gonna do 10 of those again. Remember your pace. We just want 10. Okay, here we go. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Bird dogs. So this time we're going to do five again on each side but no tucks. Just remember to keep that nice straight line through your body like somebody's pulling a string through you. All right, get settled in. Start whatever side you want to um, and we'll go five and five. Here we go. One, two, three, four, Five, switching. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. And last but not least are the block passes. We're gonna do 10 of those. Same pacing. All righty, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. All right, one more. Cycle through, I'm gonna set a timer. So someone I used to, who used to train me um, for a long time actually, he used to tell me um, as you're doing these, focus on form um, over like amount. Um, so if you don't wanna do 10, that's totally fine. He would watch me when I would get sloppy and he would just stop me um, right there. So like say I could only do five of something, he would stop me at five. And his idea was it's better to do five that are perfect than 10 that are super sloppy. Because when you get sloppy, that's when you get hurt. And so he understood like all the stuff I have going on in my back and neck. So he would just watch me. So as you're doing them, keep that in your brain. Like, even though I'm saying 10, just because I'm saying 10 doesn't mean you have to do 10. You wanna focus on like, if you can do one perfectly, 
then do one. If you can do 10 perfectly, great, then do 10. But as I'm doing things, sometimes I'll, I'll kind of catch myself getting sloppy, like the way I kind of go backwards into a, a V up or the way I, I kind of like roll. If, if I drop the block, it'll make me sloppier. So I'll kind of slow down. Usually it's because I'm going too fast. Um, speed isn't always your friend. Sometimes it is. But like with this kind of core work, it's better to do less but do it really well um, than just like volumes of it because volumes will get you somewhere, but it can also get you injured. So just be thinking in your head like, okay, this week now what I want to do is use these as like a, a step off. Like, okay, so this is what I learned. Um, these are the ones I liked. These are the ones I didn't like. And so I can modify those. And you can email me and ask me that, uh, ways to, to modify something specifically for you if you need it. Um, but I have some folks who will do like one V up, but they'll do it really well and they'll do it really safely. So I'd rather you do that than try to do 10 V ups because Craig said to do 10 V ups. So that's not always the, the answer. Um, sometimes the answer is to do it really well and do it so, uh, you know, safely so you don't injure yourself. I mean, that's the thing we don't ever want to do is injure ourselves. Um, because then you just can't do anything. So remember that form over function and or form over volume, not over function. So we are going to start with planks again. Um, side planks first. We're going to go same thing, 15, 30, 15. So it'll be a minute total. So feet stacked on top of each other. This is your last rotation, guys. Um, then you can have pizza, something. Um, all right, ready? Here we go. Up. Side plank, 15 seconds here. That's 10. Okay, on your front planks. Nice straight board in your back. Remember, if you need to take a little bit of weight, drop your knee. Ten more seconds in the front. Now we're going to switch to our side, the opposite side. Two, one, slip over. I'm going to go 15 more. Two, one, yeah, beautiful. Nice. Okay, we're going to switch into V-ups. So onto your backs, and we're going to do 10 of those again. Nice, neat form. All right, here we go. 10 at your own pace. And let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Bird dogs. Now this one, we're going to do the knee tuck again. So five on each side, but we're going to do the knee tucks with each one. So nice, easy, slow pace. Really bend into that knee. Try to get it as close as you, as you possibly can. Um, five on each side whenever you guys are ready. So starting now, one, tuck it under, two, tuck it under, three, under, four, under, five, switching sides, one, under, two, same, three, Four, five, excellent. Last thing, block passes, 10 of these. Whenever you're ready to start, we're gonna do 10. Nice and, nice and neat. All right, here we go, 10 at your pace. One, two, Three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. So what we're going to do to kind of finish it off is because you're laying on the floor a lot and you're kind of bending around a lot, obviously, we're going to just stretch our backs out. So what I want you to do is just get flat on your back again and put your knees up in the air like this, kind of like you're just relaxing. Your head's going to be on the ground and just let your legs just roll over as far as they'll feel comfortable. Don't go further than it. You know, I don't want it to hurt. But what I like to do is just let it twist and stretch your, your spine a little bit and then come back to the other side in just a nice smooth arc. You don't have to touch the ground if you don't want to. It's totally fine. Sometimes I'll just kind of at the top I'll rest, but just let them kind of sing song back and forth a little bit. They just kind of feel your spine loosen up a little bit. I, I usually do like 10 of them, so five to each side, especially when I'm all warmed up. And that is that. Thanks, you guys, for tuning in. Um, what I will do is what I've done in the past weeks is I've sent an email out with all the exercises and the uh, times and rotations that we did. So then you can work on that during the week. So don't, don't do it once a week. Try to do it, if you're gonna do it, um, again, do it like twice a week. That way you'll start to see some, some gains from it um, and you'll start to feel better. The first time you do core is never very fun. Um, actually the first several times is never that fun. So just realize that it's hard for everyone and then just kind of chip away at it a little time. So if you go like once or twice a week, um, so if, you know, whatever, we do this every Friday. So if you do it on Wednesday or Monday and then come back in on Friday, that way you're kind of, you'll be able to build on something um, and kind of keep progressing. That's all I got for you guys. Thanks for listening and playing. Yep. Mm -hmm.